You know, it makes good corporate sense and good economic sense for businesses to invest in a healthy, active workforce. The benefits of exercise directly impacts the waistline to the bottom line. Joining us to talk about the corporate wellness program is Tim Rode. Tim is the co-owner of the Maryland Athletic Club and Wellness Center. Welcome to On Time. How are you, Tim? Thank you, Kai. Very much. Very well. How um. How important is, is wellness today? And just tell us what, what, what you would, how would you define wellness, Tim? Well, wellness is, um, is, a, is a way of life. It's a, it's a state of having the things in your life that count working better than not. It's not just fitness. It's, it has to do with your state of mind. It has to do with your, your overall health, sure. your overall outlook, your, just overall your well-being. And we, would, would you think, would this be a correct assessment, we should think about wellness more than we should think about going to the doctor after there's a problem? Absolutely. Absolutely. One of the challenges that we have in our culture today is that people tend to resist seeing a physician until there's something that's not working. Where um, living a wellness lifestyle means that you're looking ahead, you're doing the things that you know preventively yes. uh, will keep you well. It's like changing the oil in your car or cleaning the windshield so that you can see at night in a rainstorm. So right. it's, it's important that we look ahead. How did you get involved with starting a, up a fitness and wellness center yourself? You know, I've been in the industry probably closer to 30 years than, wow. than 25. And after working in a variety of great places, um, my wife and I decided that there was an opportunity for a new breed of health club, one mm -hmm. that had more of a wellness focus than just a fitness focus, one that would look at the bigger picture, at nutrition, at energy, at enthusiasm, at inspiration. And uh, next week, it'll be 17 years. We wow. started the MAC in 1996 as kind of a new breed of club for the Baltimore market. And look what you've done. Three locations since then? now well over 10,000 members um, we we focus like we started the Mac with a unique purpose and that's to make sure people actually got healthy and fit okay the difference is is that many health clubs offer maybe um, uh, uh, an available and accessible place where you can come and exercise but whether you get healthy or not is up to you okay at the Mac we focus on taking as much responsibility as we can for your health okay. or your company's health and that's made all the difference last year we helped over 1200 people achieve their fitness goals and this year we're, we're running at a pace that's about 50% ahead of that. That's impressive. Tim, why do you think it's important? Because we're talking about the corporate aspect right. today. Why is it important for corporations uh, and in their best interest to think about wellness for their employees? You know, there's a number of reasons. I think post-World War II, it fell upon employers to offer health benefits to their employees. Um, all the vets returning from the war and the, compete, the companies were competing for the workforce and they started to offer health benefits and we've grandfathered that. It's become part of our culture today. Having health benefits associated with your employment yes. is, is an expectation. It's practically an entitlement these right. days. It puts a tremendous financial burden on the companies. And, and really, there's two spheres. Not only uh, are they responsible for the lion's share of the cost for most people's health care, but they're also um, dependent on the vitality of that workforce to produce and to help them become increasingly competitive and viable. So the companies have so they have, have a dual interest in making sure their workforce is healthy, and increasingly so with the Affordable Care Act coming up. Sure. The, that that um, responsibility is shifting even greater to the employers. So there's never been there's never been more interest and more um, demand for. Uh, corporate wellness. How does the corporate fitness program work? Give us an idea, a thumbnail sketch. Sure. You know, there's really a, a broad spectrum for that. This um, depends on how big your corporation is. Not right? necessarily. No, we have very small client companies who are totally enthusiastic and carry mm -hmm. the full burden of corporate wellness. It really, I, I guess I could describe maybe four different levels at which we see okay. generally companies. Uh, in corporate wellness. Um, most employers know that it's a good thing, know that they right. could or should be doing it, and it's starting to become part of the culture, but they may not have the means, they may not know how to do it. Right. So at the very least, uh, companies that, that recognize the need for corporate wellness will offer, um, will promote it, they'll, they'll uh, recommend it, and they'll offer some, some local options for employees to get involved in themselves. Right. There's maybe no, but there's no financial commitment or any other kind of provisions made by the employer, but they're hey, we want you to be healthy, go right. do this, here's where you can donate blood, here's where you can go exercise, etc. Another level, this, the next level up from that would be companies that maybe 
um, have some have selected some local whether the local health clubs or they actually offer some sort of uh, wellness opportunities maybe some lunch and learns at the office okay but the employee still carries the cost for it maybe they negotiate some discounts there are actually third-party companies that negotiate um, reduced rate memberships or right. um, some in some cases preventive screenings and yes. things like that that they offer through the employer the third level would be where an employer actually subsidizes let's say a portion of it so many of our clients will pay ten or even twenty dollars a month towards an employee's monthly dues at, at one of our clubs and then we match that that's right. what, one thing that the Mac does so the employee gets a reduced you know sort of gets a multiplication of that benefit and we do on-site events maybe we host they'll have events programs mm -hmm. corporate fit challenges and things and then sort of the top tier would be the companies that really recognize the benefit of it they might put in their own gym they might subsidize a hundred percent of your membership we should all be lucky to have a, a work for a company that has their own gym facility in the corporation you know, that'd those, be nice those companies <laughs> have um, uh, they get it they understand how important the vitality right. of the workforce is and I don't want uh, companies to miss this point Tim when employees are healthy uh, when they're being screened preventatively for things, uh, when they have access to uh, a facility at an affordable rate, what does it mean for the long term? Boy, those benefits are almost immeasurable. They happen across the board. The, the attitude, the enthusiasm, the dedication, the loyalty of the employees is all is all much greater, not yeah. to mention the health care costs. I mean, right. the companies that, actually other companies that keep track of this sort of things, insurance companies, will tell you that the cost of of providing health care for an employee who's overweight or obese is in some cases three, four, or five times wow. what it is for somebody who takes care of themselves. Wow. So, it, it, But it also has to do, I think it influences the culture of the company and right. how enthusiastic and energetic the workforce and, is. And we want to share with viewers, I mean, you're here, obviously, you, you and your wife own Mac, but a, a company has an option of, of choosing whatever a health company out there that they would want to. This isn't simply about you pr promoting Mac, but no. about talking about wellness. No, absolutely. I mean, wellness is something that people should be indulging, whether they do it with a Mac or anybody. Sure. It's something that we advocate. Many of the people that come to the Mac for wellness programs will um, will turn around and do something on their own. They'll get some right. exercise equipment at home, or they'll join a club that's convenient to where they live. That's all fine. If we've had anything to do with those people uh, learning and choosing a healthy lifestyle, then we feel like it's been a win. You're happy about that. Well, we, we appreciate you coming on today. Tim Rowe, thank pleasure. you so much. My pleasure. Thanks for, thanks for whipping us into shape. <laughs> well, we'll get you down to the back. <laughs> I appreciate right. it, absolutely. By the way, you can check out the Maryland Athletic Club and wellness programs at their three facilities in Harbor East, Timonium, and Hunt Valley. For details, go to their website, which is macwellness.com.